Hey everyone, so today we have here, in for repair, we have this nice big, uh, this is the Razor Blade Pro, it's a 17 inch, uh, it's not a touch screen or anything like that, but it doesn't really matter when you do have 120 hertz on the screen, which is nice, so it's a gaming laptop, you can see it has a pretty unique uh, touchpad, the touchpad is actually on the right side itself here, it has a nice keyboard, and it actually has a scroll wheel for volume, I think that's what it is. I'm not sure if it's um, if you can adjust it in the Razer Snap software, but anyways, it's pretty cool. It's in here for repair. Obviously, you can see it's a little bit, the bottom covers are a little bit kind of been taken off already, but that's because we've been actually looking into it a little bit first. We want to show you guys because it is an interesting repair. Um, it's a very big laptop, 17 inch. Uh, you don't see a whole lot of 17 inch laptops anymore, especially for gaming ones. So that's probably why you want to at least get this one up and running. This one actually does have a nice little cool repair that we're doing here. It doesn't turn on. I'm wondering why it doesn't turn on, but we opened it and uh, we were testing it. And obviously it's a pretty obvious one. So let's actually just get right into it and show you guys what it is. So we'll go over to the microscope here. All right, there. You can see our nice little table there. Man, it looks gross. Okay. But so we have... You can see here, this is where the power connection actually does go. You can see something a little interesting. You can see it's a little bit darker here at the top part. And you can actually see the charger right here. I'm sorry, the, the charging connector here. You can see that there's two pins sticking out. And that's not because it's a rip or tear or anything like that, but you can see here, it's actually melted. And what it did, it, um, it was getting so hot, it melted here. And some of the pins actually did get stuck. And so let's see if we can show you guys the inside of it, which is nice. Oh, you can see a little black mark. So this is what we have here. You can see uh, it's melted. It's a little bit burnt in there. And this is where the power connector goes. So, yep, you can see that there's quite a bit, a nice little burn mark there. It goes in there. And it seems to be the only real damage that's on the board itself. Obviously, it's really important damage. Uh, it's, it's critical for the laptop turning on and receiving power, but you can see even around it the components look to be pretty good um, We can even flip it to the back here and see sometimes it's always a concern too I'm gonna flip it to the back. You see this little nice little chip here. It looks very clean um, Yep, so that looks to be the only main issue we took a look at the board the rest of it But that's the main part of it that needs to be repaired So what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to see if we can actually fix this uh, not just with um, this cable, obviously, because this cable is pretty bad. Oh, wait, okay, we're not going to do really this cable because this cable is pretty bad, but it does contain the two pins that we do need that go in there. Uh, we also do have a brand new one that we did get. Uh, you can see it's a lot nicer, and the color is a little bit different, but it's it's fine because it's compatible and it'll work totally fine. You can see it's a lot nicer, huh? That's that's the before and after. This is this is when you wake up in the morning, and this is after you take a shower and everything, you wash your face. This is what everyone looks like after that. So everyone looks pretty after that. And we're going to see if we can go fix up the person who hasn't woken up yet. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix them up and uh, see what we can do for this. So let's just get into it.
uh, what we did here is you can see that uh, <laughs> this part is now soldered now. Uh, it's a very important part that we were able to at least do. And uh, here's the before. Obviously, you can see this. Uh, we did What we did is we took apart the little shell piece that actually does go with the actual uh, jack here. And we were able to take it off and use uh, these parts here. Let me show you guys. So we're going to use these parts here. This is basically the same thing, but this is actually connected directly to the motherboard itself. It's the best way to actually have the connection because it's a straight line connection. It is soldered now um, and everything like that. So it's going to be a, a very nice high quality connection that you can see. It's very well, uh, it's very, it's very well done and it's we can at least to see now if it does actually work and solve the main issue there because as you saw before this is the main problem how it did burn all the plastic there and the thing is because of some of the the pins are a little bit damaged there um, they were a little bit further gone than they probably should have been and we weren't able to actually do unless we did remove the casing of this here and at least solder it directly there that's the best way to actually go about this because especially that the old ones would had a little bit of pins that were stuck in it like this right here um, but this is the best way to at least get a direct connection that goes from the the jack itself and it's going to directly to the board there. So it's another way of connecting it because otherwise you know how it just normally slides in. That's the way to do it. But in this case, it's a very special case, a very special type of repair for that. So now let's just go ahead and check it out and see if we do get some power on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test the fruits of our labor here because we want to make sure it's all good before we fully put it back and of course we can put captain tape over here so make sure it's fine so let's at least just plug it in and to see if we do get um, power from it because obviously that's the whole point of this so make sure we do plug this in over here and we want to turn it on so everything else should be connected at least for enough just to get it to turn on and we were looking for the razor logo so let's see the power button's like in like the middle there we go all right. There we go. I see the RGB here. You can see that right next to my thumb. There's a little RGB there. It's going to come up then because at least that's power. That means it's great. At least power is going in to it. And we're going to make sure it does fully turn on. Okay. And there you go. We have a Razer logo right there. Looks to be pretty good. That's up and going, so at least we did get power, and we're into the BIOS there. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to repair this uh, very interesting um, problem that we did have here, that total burn mark that was on the actual DC jack itself. And we see that we did a little bit of arts and crafts there to actually get it up and running and making sure that it is working for the customer. Um, for something like this, too, is a very specialized type of repair that we can do. Do lots of component level repairs. And we work on lots of different types of laptops. We have to do liquid spills, data recoveries as well. This one is uh, definitely no exception as well. And it's a special case because it's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. and found this video very informative and had fun doing it along with us here. Um, if you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Please subscribe for more content. So... If you could do that, it would really help us a lot. And stay tuned for other videos if you like um, motherboard repairs, uh, liquid spill repairs, and like arts and crafts like this, uh, lap fix arts and crafts, you know. So we do that as well. And uh, we hope you guys enjoyed watching.